The headlines International Women's Day observed widely in Manipur. Hello and welcome to ISTV English News. Now let's see the news in detail. International Women's Day was observed widely in the state today. Governments, NGOs and other organizations across the globe observe the International Women's Day on the 8th of March every year to highlight the achievements, rights and status of women while calling for greater equality. In Manipur too, the day is being observed widely. Social Welfare Minister A.K. Mirabai categorically stated that utilizing the fundamental rights of equality between women and men, let's, let us all unite and march towards development. She stated this during the International Women's Day observance at Central Jail specially organized for the female prisoners. A lunch program and gifts were presented during the observance. SP of Central Jail, Assistant Director of Women Development Cooperative and high-ranking police officials were also present. Minister A.K. Mirabai said in earlier times, the male section used to look down upon the female section with inferiority feeling. But with the pace of development, the mindset has drastically changed and also appealed to look upon the female section with high esteem. Acknowledging the fundamental rights, equality between women and men, people as a whole should work to bring development in the state, she added. The Shengna Magna Shay Koi, Nupama Sungupi, Anigi Marata, Ketnaba, I Koi, Adikar, Leiva Mayam Singer Say, Samanana, Nasi Koi, Hogiba Kayada, I Koi Kautokravasu, Lakaduri Vasida di, Nupana Su, I Koi Nupi Singbo, I Koi Kusam Nana Singer Piduna, Nupina Su, I Koi Aswanba, Wakalon Mayam Singer Say, Tadokuna, Samanaba, Right Ado, Adu Panduna. Lady by Koi, Barat, Sangvidana, Equi, Nupigi, right, Pirabasu, Sangvidana, Pirabasu, Koi, Nupi, Equina, Ecto, Wangam, the Dana Lady Bakaya singer say, Pipti, Sap Man of a Siaring, the Equi, Kenabalitana, Lai Park, a Sigi, Sap Saba Nagarik, Amagi, Wahan Toto, Lai Wangam, Nabagi, the Mata, Equi Puna, Wana Mineracy. The Kanglai Imalup killed to observe the day at the Uripo Lai Kutlemi Sanglin today. President of Kil R.K. Sanahanbi, National Awardi Ibo Tombi Kuman, President of Kanglamai Lairik Laima, President of Amkil Pet Saki Laima, and President of CLK Park Pichenu were present as the men gazed at the observance. Speaking on the occasion, the President of Kil called for a united effort in trying to stop the prevailing subjugation and violence against the women and children in the state. Nasidi Ramdan Kangli Pasi da Kangle Ima Lupna, Miyam with the Magda Karada, Angam Karadam Urazu, Chigumba, Tamti Daba Mio Mina Sidagi, Kan Jabangam Gadra Haibagi Wakalul, Aduda, Iram the Masida Lai Bas Vin Society Organization, Imaging Amadi Chasin Kayagi Matuk in Jari Hariga, Nasi Kangle Ima Lupna, Akwegi Malimda Malim in the pig in the mid Haiba, Torum Masia Kwe Pantok Japani. Working Women of AITUC Manipur and Ima Pantobi Trust Bandas jointly organized a Women's Day observance at the Apex Marketing Women's Market set at Kuman Lampak today. Many representatives of various CSOs, including President of the Forum T8 Bedamani, took part in the observance. Those who spoke on the occasion said that instead of suppressing women, people should try to lift their status to a high level. The day was observed at Sagolban Tera Bajar too, which was jointly organized by World Vision India and Ideal Club. All Manipur Nupi Marub also observed the day at Manipur Press Club today. Women in charge of CPI Manipur A. Lala, President of Nupi Marub Tiet Saki and many others attended the observance. The president of BJYM O Malish has submitted a memorandum to the Union Minister Mahesh Sharma yesterday. The memorandum stated, tourism is one of the biggest industries of Manipur. It will provide livelihood to many in the state. 
However, the state government has been delaying in taking up steps to develop the tourism sector by indulging in corruption. It appealed to the center to conduct an inquiry on the proceedings of the tourism projects in the state. The memorandum also appealed to the center to punish those found guilty after the inquiry and either recover the fund released for the projects or try to have the projects completed at the earliest. Works Minister Dr. Kate Ratan Kumar inspected the temporary market set constructed behind Johnson School today. Altogether, more than 1,900 sitting capacity are there. Chief Executive Officer of IMC Ngangong Butam and many officials of Works Department accompanied the minister during the inspection visit. It is targeted to reallocate at the new temporary market on March 11. Independent Councillor of Kakching Kuno Municipal Council, Ward No. 3, Kumukcham Ongbi Leima, and Ward Development Member of Ward No. 3 by 1, Kumukcham Athoba Meite, and Ward Development Member of Ward No. 3 by 2, Kumukcham Bankim Chandra, joined in the National Congress. President of MPCC Gaikangam gave approval in joining the party. Annual Earth Exhibition, which will be undergoing for five days, kicks off at Imphal Art College today. Consultant to the Government of Manipur, Dr. R. K. Nimai, Commissioner of Earth and Culture, K. Rabi Kumar, and Chairman of Governing Body of Imphal Art College, L. Mangi, were present as men guest. Principal of the college, Y. Nabachandra, said the exhibition is held to showcase the earthworks produced by students in a year. ตัวนั้นมาเสียดายคนนั้นว่าเด็กผู้ชายงานสิ่งที่จะใช้ฮอลลี่อาร์ติสต์ชุดแบบทั้งหมดสิ่งที่ที่อัพเดตดูขั้
The government targeted a police station and military facilities at Don in Ben Gurdon. Tunisian Interior and Defense Ministry said in a statement that 35 terrorists, 7 civilians and 11 members of the security forces were killed. The government has closed its two border crossings with Libya after the attacks. International Women's Day observed widely in Manipur. Well, that's all we have in this bulletin. Stay tuned for more updates.